Hey guys, it's Katie from Mattress Clarity. We're not doing two different pillow reviews today. We're just doing one. It's the Brooklyn Bedding Tele Latex Pillow, but it comes in two different lofts, high and low. But don't worry, there's one big difference between these two. We're gonna dive right in, so stick around because we're about to start the review. If you want to check out a list of my favorite pillows, just Google Mattress Clarity Best Pillows. It'll be the first link that pops up. And comment below and tell me how many pillows you're currently sleeping with. I'm kind of doing a big survey. I'm really curious how many people are sleeping with more than one pillow at night. All right, now to this one. This is the Brooklyn Bedding Tele Latex Pillow made by Brooklyn Bedding, which is a mattress company. Holding up two different ones here because they come in two different lofts, high loft and low loft. Now, if you're not familiar, loft is basically the same thing as height. So the high loft on this pillow is five inches tall. The low loft is four inches. But I'm gonna put the low one just over here for a second. I also want to mention that my colleague Martin's going to come in here in a little bit. He's going to share his take on the pillow with, with you as well. He's a little bit heavier than me, about a foot taller than me, so it's always good to get his opinion as well. But let's talk about the inner filling of this. This is a solid piece of ventilated tele latex. Now it's also a blend, so it's 70% synthetic, 30% natural latex. I'm going to pull it out just to show you so you can see the ventilation here underneath the lining, super responsive um, and really, really light. And it's also known for having some really nice pressure relieving features in it. Now the cover, if you can't already tell, is removable, washable and dryable, and it's a mix of 50% organic cotton, 50% polyester mix. You get 30 nights to try this pillow out and it comes in two different sizes, queen and king. At full price, the queen is $89 and the king is $99. So here are some of the pros of this pillow. I love options. So I love that you can choose between a high or low loft depending on your sleep position. And it's hypoallergenic. So those with allergies should have no problem here. If you're someone who's looking for a latex pillow, this could be a good fit for you because it's super responsive, but also contouring and pressure relieving. So your head's gonna rest in, but it's not gonna have that slow sinking feeling that memory foam does. And of course, I love that it comes in two different sizes. So here's some things to think about with this pillow. First of all, there's only one inch difference between the high loft and low loft. I do wish there's a little bit more of a difference that really kind of separated the two pillows and sort of guided you towards which one to pick. And I also want to mention that it does have natural materials in here, but there is 70% synthetic latex in the filling and the outer cover. While it is partially organic cotton, is only 50% polyester or 50% cotton. So if you're looking for 100% only natural materials, you need to look at a more natural option. And last but not least is the price. At full price, $89 for queen 99 for a king it's just not in everyone's budget okay so let's talk about which sleeping positions are best for this pillow so it comes with two different lofts again the high loft is five inches low loft is four inches and really your sleeping position is going to dictate which is the best choice for you now side sleepers and larger back sleepers you're going to want to go with this high loft option you need to fill that space between your shoulder and your head and neck and you're going to want to use a higher loft to achieve that neutral head and neck and back spinal alignment and of course stomach sleepers you tend to need something a little bit flatter and that's where that low loft option is going to go in so again side sleepers are going to Want to go high loft stomach sleepers you're going to go low loft and back sleepers you can really mix it up and either one should work for you hey guys martin here to offer a different perspective i'm a larger person than katie more of a back and side sleeper so she asked me to give my opinion about the high loft version the brooklyn bedding tally latex pillow so for me and on my back i feel it's a pretty good match for me my head doesn't sink in too far also feel like i'm not being pushed up off the pillow so a good match for back sleeping i think i'm staying in neutral alignment on my side a decent match as well my head does sink in pretty far I'm feeling a little bit smothered by the pillow but overall a decent match. On my stomach though, I do feel like I'm sticking in too far. I'm smothered somewhat by the pillow. Now the big thing with this pillow is the feel. So as Katie mentioned, it has this kind of bouncy responsive feel. Personally, I like a pillow with more of that memory foam feel, at least a little bit where I slowly sink in. This is a little bit too bouncy for me. However, if you're a larger person like me and you like that bouncy feel, it could work for you. So based on my experience with this pillow, I think it's a good option for those of you who are new to the world of latex pillows, want to know what the big deal is. It's really nice contouring, pressure relieving support, but it's going to be different than that really slow sinking memory foam feel. Again, it comes with two different lofts and two different sizes. The cover is removable and washable, which I love, but it's not in everyone's budget. You will get 30 days to try it out, of course. Let me know if you have any questions, and of course, check the link in the description below for my full written review and more photos. And thanks so much. I hope I see you again soon.